energy supply and infrastructure facilities remain one of the main targets of Russian attacks in Ukraine. Russia has been using energy blackmail since the start of its full-scale invasion. Russia's use of energy as a weapon is likely to remain a tool of coercion, according to British intelligence. It is highly likely that Russia will continue to use energy as a weapon for global economic gain and political influence, signifying the link between energy, security, political and military objectives, from a UK Ministry of Defense report. Russia used energy blackmail tactics even before the full-scale invasion. After seizing Crimea in 2015, Russia seized Ukrainian oil and gas platforms in the Black Sea. In 2021, Gazprom reduced gas supplies to Europe. After a full-scale invasion of Ukraine on February 24, 2022, Russia immediately seized the Chernobyl nuclear power plant and on March 4, the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Thus, Putin hoped that he would be able to create an energy crisis in Europe. If we talk about the general trend, then there is a reduction in the volume of supplies, and this reduction will reach the plant zero by 2025. In any case, this has been repeatedly stated in Brussels, and this is confirmed by the statistical data that we, as analysts, have at our disposal. However, active EU measures and increased imports from other countries, low consumption and mild weather meant that the winter passed without outages and prices fell. As a result, the price of gas in EU countries is $300 per 1,000 cubic meters. This is at least 13 times slower than the price desired by Russia. Analysts say the decision to store gas in Ukrainian underground gas storage facilities has helped energy groups and traders withdraw only relatively small volumes from storage facilities in the European Union, keeping gas prices low and making it easier to restock supplies. In addition, European traders managed to earn about $320 million by storing gas in underground gas storage facilities in Ukraine. From a Forbes article. As a result, Gazprom actually lost its main market in Europe, which brought it tens of billions of dollars each year. Natural gas supplies in 2023 decreased to 28 billion cubic meters, whereas a year earlier, Russia supplied almost 64 billion cubic meters of gas to Europe. At its peak in 2018-2019, the annual flow reached 180 billion cubic meters. In addition, half of Russia's oil and petroleum products exports in 2023 went to China, while India's share grew to 40 percent in two years. Europe's share of oil exports from Russia fell tenfold to about 45 percent. The world does not stand still. Technologies do not stand still. And now the gas market has become a global. And now the world natural gas market has become as global as the crude oil market was 50 years ago. Nowadays, natural gas liquefaction technologies are so economically attractive that there is no longer a need to use exclusively gas transported through pipelines. At the end of 2024, the transit of Russian gas through the territory of Ukraine will cease according to the agreement concluded in 2019. However, some European companies still have long-term contracts until 2035-2040. These contracts cannot be broken without a political reason, the introduction of sanctions against Gazprom or Russian gas in general. Meanwhile, Moldova and Romania will help transport more European gas by passing Russia. Gas transmission system operators are developing a mechanism mechanism to expand the reserve capacity of the Trans-Balkan pipeline. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Victoria Smirnova, UATV News.